Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the blue shifting of light from an approaching object. Let's say that we're on the Earth and we're observing a galaxy that's moving towards us. And so the question is, what will be the frequency observed of the light reaching us relative to the frequency of the source? And we have an equation that we use in astronomy that tells us that the velocity of an approaching object like a galaxy is equal to the speed of light times the ratio of the change in the wavelength that we see, that we observe, divided by the wavelength of the original source. Notice I have a, a, a table here that shows you that this is the wavelength of the source, this is the change, this is the, the equation where the wavelength times the frequency equals the speed of light, OBS stands for observed, and therefore we can also write the wavelength as being equal to the fraction between the speed of light and the frequency. So here, if we use this equation right here, the velocity of the galaxy being equal to this, the change in the wavelength is going to be the wavelength that we have from the source minus the wavelength observed. If the object is moving towards us, the wavelength of the observed light will shrink, so this will be positive quantity. So then what we do is we replace the wavelength by the speed of light divided by the frequency. And so again, S means source, F OBS means uh, observed, and then if we manipulate that algebraically, eventually we end up with the equation over here where we see that the frequency observed, the light reaching us, is equal to the frequency of the source times the quantity of 1 over 1 minus V over C. Now, if V is very small, then of course there won't be much of a difference. But if V becomes very large, then there can be a very large difference between the frequency observed and the frequency from the source. And we'll take a look at that, of course, when we start reaching relative physics velocities. What does that mean to the frequency that we see? And in the end, you can see then, if V reaches the speed of light, then we get 1 minus 1, which is 0, 1 divided by uh, infinity, or I should say 1 divided by 0 is infinity, and so the frequency observed would then appear to become infinite relative to the frequency of the source. So we'll explore that a little bit more to see what really happens when we start moving at very high velocities. But at least this gives us a way of determining how the equation was derived to come up with an equation that relates the frequency observed to the frequency of the source of an approaching object. On the next video, we'll reverse it and we'll look at the redshifting that happens when galaxies move away from us, which, by the way, the predominant number of galaxies out there are all moving away from us, giving us an indication that space appears to be expanding. But that's, of course, for another video. And that's how it's done.